What's poppin'? Welcome back to BRB Report. And it's like, what, almost 4 p.m. on Saturday. <laughs> we had a late start to the vlog because we had a super early start to our day. We went to the gym, we cleaned the whole apartment, organized everything, made it sparkling clean because my family's coming this weekend. So they're coming here tomorrow around like dinner time and so we're just getting everything ready gonna go right now currently to target to do some last minute errands to just buy a few things that we need and yeah that's what's gonna be it's gonna be exciting right baby yeah i'm excited it's gonna be lots of fun we are weak sauces because we just got to this section the first thing and we're gonna go buy a bunch of pumpkins <laughs> They're so cute and there's so many of them. And they're like a dollar, so we want to get some fall decor all here. Come, what is this called again? Bullseye's Corner. Bullseye's Corner. We already put one in the cart first thing. <laughs> so we walked around the whole Target because we wanted to find the glue gun. And then we couldn't remember where the school supplies were. And we finally came to the school supplies, which was so easy. It was so close to where we were originally. Anyway, we made a fool of ourselves, but now here we are. We found a glue gun. It's a fancy one. Yeah, it has like dual temperature. Um, my eight-year-old self will be screaming. <laughs> With the four-dollar glue sticks. So we found this little turkey, and obviously it's coming home with us. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. He's a felt little turkey. Look at him. Three bucks. Tarje, come get all your goodies for the Thanksgiving festivities. Don't ask us where we're gonna put all this stuff after the holidays. We don't know. After we finished our purchases at Target, we decided to name our little turkey Henry after, you know, Downton Abbey. Mary's final husband that she married, his name is Henry. So we decided to name our little turkey Henry. So now we're going to TJ Maxx trying to try to find some disposable cups that are like fall vibes or fall themed. Oh, so that's where we're headed now. Bailey went to go drop off our Target stuff at the car. So we got the socks, sock galore as you can tell, but we need them. We need to replace our old socks and we need boot socks that this girl didn't have any. I had like only fuzzy socks and those aren't really comfortable to wear with shoes. So yeah, we needed some boot socks now that it's fall. And we got some super cute doggo cups. So we can make our lattes for what we're gonna eat with dessert tomorrow with my parents and take it up to the rooftop. How cute. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. So this is what we got at Whole Foods, this lovely apple pie and this coffee cake, kind of fruits in it. Raspberry, I think. Something. I think it's a, it's a raspberry or a cherry one, I'm not quite sure. But it looks exquisite and Henry is in his spot. Look at how cute he is. Okay, he looks so cute with the pumpkins. We are currently in the process of doing a DIY to our mirror because I don't know if we've shown it on camera or not. Oh yeah, we, you have seen it. So it's on top of our dining table and it just looks too plain. And we thought it would look really pretty if we had some greenery. And luckily Target, because of fall season, has a bunch of like green things that are like not fairly inexpensive. And they look pretty realistic more than like other stuff. So we want to make it look like a cute little like I don't know, mm -hmm. garland or something style on the mirror, but we're kind of very scared to do it because we don't want to mess up our mirror because it's a very pretty mirror. So, wish us luck, guys. Hopefully, it will turn out okay. This is how it looks so far. We've glued it all down and we're just letting it dry before we hang it back up. So, we will show you its final product, but we really like it. It looks super cute and it was like 12 bucks to do this. So, pretty good. It's Sunday morning and we 
decided to come early to Starbucks for serve with our friend Bree. Um, she's currently going to go get her avocado toast at a different line because everything's so confusing here at the reserve. Right, Bailey? It is. It's a so, little crazy. It's super busy, like a lot busier than I thought it would be since like early morning, but it has to be. And what did we get? We got the hazelnut, Bianco lattes, all of us got that because I tried it last time when I was here with my sister and it was really good. And then we got hazelnut chocolate croissant. croissant. They call it something fancy. They call it Cornetto. Cornetto. Croissant wasn't fancy enough. Uh, and then we got the ham and cheese sandwich, which is also called something very fancy. I was just like, can I get the ham and cheese sandwich? Anyway, that's what we're doing. We're waiting for her. We got all our stuff here. So it's good morning so far. Snoqualmie Falls. We parked in the visitor parking this time because we're not going to go to the lodge. Um, but we're going to walk across like the little sky bridge and see the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. came to the lower level parking lot um this is so you don't have to go through the actual hike because it's actually pretty steep like yeah. when we did it it was fine because we usually go on hikes but for my parents it would probably be a little bit too hard on them so we're coming down here just walking it's a very short walk and to see the lower the final lower level of the falls back to Bellevue and we are going to Molly Moon now so they can try it out and we're gonna go see the downtown park so they can see it and just explore a little bit more of Bellevue and Bellevue Square. good we got seasonal flavor it was pumpkin spice and it was so good she liked it so much she said it was the best all-time flavor at yeah. my so i was like please reconsider <laughs> the words you just said it's not true the yeti and the cookie dough are better i may have been exaggerating a little because i was just so excited but it was really good it was like eating like pumpkin pie in ice cream form 100%. We all, me, my sister, and her got it, and it was delicious. Yes. So now, as you can see, we are at Bellevue Square, and 
just looking around. Uh, we took Brescia's family to the Made in Washington store so they could check out all the stuff that's made here. Just gonna look around to the different stores. Uh, we're right outside the Apple store, but we'll see if they want to check anything else out. And if not, we'll probably go to dinner and that'll be down to Maid's dress. <laughs> oh, it does. It looks like Mrs. Hughes. Oh, the yeah. dress she wanted to wear for her wedding. Oh yeah, I guess so y'all are Downton fans. You know what we're talking about. What happens when you bring me to a store and then I end up with a bunch of stuff? <laughs> this place called Ancient Bamboo Garden. It's a place that we tried the other day, but it was on a Friday, so we didn't show you guys. Yeah, we got like all these yummy dishes, like family style food. My parents really liked it, so that was a good note. And did you like it, babe? It was good. The only thing is the sweet and sour chicken was not as delicious as the first time we had it, so that was sad. But other than that, it was really good. Now we came to Juanita Beach to come see the sunset. We missed it because we took a little bit too long at dinner. Um, but it still looks really pretty because you can see a little bit of the skyline of Seattle and the sun and the moon's out now so that's good. We just got back from Juanita Beach and it has been chilly today really cold so as you see we came and put our warm pajamas on and i think we're gonna try to see if there's a movie that we can watch with bestia's sister we turned on the heater it was like so cold because we tried to like as we said we missed the sunset so then it started getting really dark like really fast like we walked around the little pier or dock that they have and by the time we got off it was already dark and so it was really, really cold. But there was people with their kids playing in the playground at that hour. We're like, how are you not cold? It was freezing. So anyway, maybe Bailey's gonna have a hot chocolate. Or maybe I'll have a hot chocolate. And just like relax, chill, because it's been kind of a tiring day. We've been walking a lot everywhere. Like, you know, Snoqualmie and the city and then the, the mall. mall and everything. So they're really excited and they want to take pictures of everything. Yeah, they were just taking photos of everything that lifts up. I was like, you could do it after, but they're like, no, right now there are no, not that many people. So we want to take photos. So that's what we're doing. Now we're at the Chihuly Gardens and we made it on time. Everyone made it on time. There's like no line, no people. So it's a good time to come. And we're going to start seeing the exhibition. My parents went to the Space Needle and we went to the Chihuly Gardens because we've never been, but they went to the Space Needle. So we're like, oh, how about you guys go to the Space Needle and we'll go to the gardens and check them out and then we'll meet together once we're done so they can both enjoy it, you know, however long we want. So that's what we're doing.
place market and we're gonna look around, go inside for the first time since we moved here, and yeah, just see what there is. We finished our time at the public market and all the Seattle things. We came back to where, Bailey? Emerald City Fish and Chips. It was so good. It's the place we came to when we went paddle boarding back in the summer. So like amazed at how delicious they were that we wanted to bring our parents. I wanted to bring my parents here. We got back home and Bessie's parents just said goodbye um, and her sister and they are heading back down. Yeah, they're leaving. They all like their fish and chips from the Emerald City Little Fish Shack. What did you get, Bailey? I got the chicken and chips and I don't know why I'm very reluctant to eat fish because I've never been much of a seafood person, but I do really like the fish and chips that Bessie got. Um, so next time I'll order that because last time I got a burger and it wasn't super great and then this time I got chicken and it wasn't amazing so I'm like I need to just get what they're known for. Yeah their specialty is the fish and chips so you got to get the fish and chips. So that was fun everything in Seattle. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for more of our vlogs and remember we'll be RV in the next video.